Accent walls, that's The construction industry is a business. I know because I've been a contractor. I've been on all sides. So today, I'm going to break down what noobs do versus what the pros do. It's also going to sound a lot like this. Those cabinets right there, those are ill. Yeah, that's like Jimmy Fallon's ill. Cause H's are ill. Look at those white tiles, gross. Let's get our designer and spend $50,000 on a kitchen for our $400,000 house. Who cares if it's 20% of the value of the house? We want that kitchen. Now let's see what the pro does. The pro spends $643 in materials in the same kitchen and transforms the kitchen. Guess what? Your Whole Foods Weedy Flakes don't know the difference between a new cabinet made out of maple or some Brazilian hardwood and the original cabinets with some paint on them, and neither does your future tenant. In fact, even if you're living in the house, your Christmas Eve dinner guests don't really care what you spend on the kitchen either. As long as the beer is cold, it's good enough. To add insult to injury, the people who spend $50,000 probably increase the sale value of their house by $15,000. And maybe, just maybe, they'll get two weeks of satisfaction and $40 more in rent. On the flip side, the person who spent $643 just increased the value of the house $10,000 and got the same $40 in extra rent. Folks, you don't need a math degree to solve this one. And if for some reason money is of no object to you, you're not interested in learning how to invest. What I call them? Fun coupon! And smash that dislike button and get out of here. Oh, and if you're gonna pull that old, well, in my house, I want the best quality card. Well, I have two things to say to you. Uh, number one. My house, my house, my house. Let me tell you something, Tommy. This isn't my house, it's my house. And when you're in my house, sometimes you gotta do things my way. Number two. Thank you for helping stocks like Home Depot, Lowe's, and Target skyrocket. Which, by the way, Home Depot and Target are excellent dividend stocks. Thank you very much. Now let's go into bathrooms. Guess what most people do when they see blue, avocado green, or even pink tiling? They start swinging the hammer. They start swinging the hammer because they remember that time they went to Lowe's and thought, oh, well, tubs are only like plus or minus $300, right? It's not that expensive to put in a new tub. And tiling's only like a couple bucks a foot. Let's just smash all this stuff and start over. But what makes the difference between a noob and a pro is a noob starts swinging a hammer before they consider all available alternatives. The noob might end up cutting a check to a contractor for some new bathroom floor tile, wall tile, new plumbing fixtures. But if they wanted to save money, like a pro does, and still want to provide a functional bathroom that looks nearly just as good, they might consider reglazing that darn blue or avocado green tile. In fact, here's an example. Here's a tub and blue bathroom tile setup. $700 later, this is what the bathroom turned into. Yes, this is literally the same tub and the same tiling that was blue. Tiling, tub, jack. Notice the nice bronze trim hardware and the newly glazed white tiles. This is a project that was completed in two days rather than three weeks. And I hate to say it, but a lot of newbie investors think, well, I'll tile myself. I'll buy this tile saw and then after I use it for two bathrooms because, well, I only have two bathrooms, I'll store it somewhere in the garage. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was really guilty of. The one-time use product on my Renos but I was doing the work myself, so it was okay. And before you know it, five years go by and they have a garage that has more tools than contractor's warehouse. Now, don't get me wrong, I was that noob. I am making fun of myself. But over 10 years of doing this, I've started to learn some tricks. What about appliances? Get the scratched ones. That's 20% off in my opinion. And then a little bit of whiteout or magnet. Oh, and you think that 5% every day or that 10% off coupon at Lowe's is really a big deal? You haven't even seen the discounts Lowe's is willing to give you. I teach you how to get these discounts in the real estate investing course and the do-it-yourself property management and rental renovations course linked down below. By the way, not only do these courses have hundreds of lectures teaching you how to make money, buying deals cheaper than what you can sell them for, I teach you how to save money in rental renovations and maximize the odds 
odds of having success in investing in real estate by renting to qualified tenants that you screen using the Meet Kevin method. By the way, something else to know about my courses, if for whatever reason you go through the course content and you get stuck in a certain place or you have a unique circumstance, you're always welcome to run that by me in our live streams or in our Discord chat and there have been times where people have asked similar questions and I think to myself, this calls for me making another lecture to specifically address a unique scenario. For example, I had the international community asking me, what do we do if we don't have 30 year fixed rate loans? That is addressed in the course now. Backsplashes, this is where noobs just ought to stop. In fact, a substantial amount of people when they pick a backsplash do not consider the basic element of value. If something doesn't appeal to 90% of buyers and tenants, the upgrade you are doing is actually reducing the value of your property. So somebody needs to look at tiling and say, will this crazy custom backsplash appeal to 90% of people? If the answer is no, don't do it. The rule of value in real estate is very simple. Do what 90% of people will like. That's it. Guess what the odds are? You really can't mess up and you probably have the odds that 95% of people are going to be happy with it. Simple subway tile. On top of that, the pros know you can actually just get away with using the six inch backsplash that comes with your countertop anyway. Now, what about painting? Well, this is where I have to say most noobs spend too much time worrying about different colors for different rooms and accent walls. The bottom line is, unless you're a designer, the odds of you mix and matching colors by yourself very well are very low. <laughs> then rather than buying these stupid little samples that barely give you any coverage, I bought 10 quartz because I knew as soon as I found this color, which I'm about to tell you, I wouldn't use another color until trends changed. And keep in mind, trends tend to change every 10 years. So if you're trying to create something timeless, it ain't gonna happen. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, come on, Kevin, hardwood floor's been timeless. Yeah, I'll be talking about that in just a second, hold on. Anyway, then I have my 10 quartz and I paint sections large enough to be sheets of drywall to sample them. I then narrow this selection down to two or three different colors. Then I paint all of these three colors on the same wall to ensure consistent lighting. And I select my favorite color, which lately my winner has been Edgecomb Gray. That's a Benjamin Moore color match. So we touched on flooring and here's what the noobs do. Number one, the first type of noob says, I gotta have something exotic. It's gotta sound good when people come into my property. And the second noob says, oh my gosh, how could I possibly just have one type of flooring? I need different flooring in the laundry room, bathrooms, kitchens, the main hallway, the entry hallway. I've gotta have four or five different types of flooring so I could really express my design elements. Well, here's what the pro does. The pro knows that if there's one type of flooring that works well and it's scratch resistant and water resistant, like this luxury vinyl plank that you could get on sale at Lowe's for under $2 per square foot, then you start asking yourself, why am I going to put myself through the misery of selecting other floor, installing transition strips and making sure it matches? If I can eliminate transitions, why not do that? But the pro also looks at large houses like this 3000 square foot house and says, you know, we don't actually have to do all of this flooring. We could get away with carpet on the most expensive parts, the staircase and the upstairs. Now I know a lot of people initially react to that and go, oh my gosh, carpet, carpet's disgusting. Carpet's only disgusting if you make it disgusting. Now let's just do a quick cost benefit analysis. Here's an almost 3000 square foot property. The rent for this property with luxury vinyl plank downstairs and carpet upstairs is $3,300 to a highly qualified tenant. If the entire property were luxury vinyl plank, the pro would have had to spend an extra $5,000 and they would have done so for an extra $20 in rent. It doesn't make sense. Now, remember how earlier I alluded to putting down hardwood floor? Yeah, only a noob tries to put something exotic down to say it's going to be timeless. In fact, when you look at those hardwood floors, those one and a half inch hardwood floors from the 1920s that people are now peeling carpet back on to reveal the beautiful floor that's left over, 
Realize that in the 1920s, that was the cheapest flooring you can get. In the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, people started covering it up with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You even had an era of shag carpet in the 70s to make sure it was really covered up. It wasn't until the 90s and 2000s that people started peeling back to expose the original hardwood floors beneath. And then as if that wasn't good enough in the early 2010s, people started staining these hardwood floors darker because it just wasn't the look they wanted. Notice, designs and trends change. Creating something timeless is nearly impossible. And even if it were possible, it's probably not worth the money. So guess what the pro does compared to what the noob does? Here's your cheat sheet. The noob looks at things that make them feel good. They pick designs that make them happy. And they don't realize that the happiness is going to fade after they go through the headache of dealing with all the extra renovations. And then they enjoy their finished products for two weeks before they're used to it and they're over it or they get bitter because their contractor didn't finish something correctly. The Pro provides quality living, safe living, clean living at a fraction of the cost without cutting corners. You don't have to be a slumlord to be a pro. You just have to have the knowledge to be able to look at something and say, wow, that Chrome Baldwin lock at Lowe's for $80 is going to get me the same exact rent as this 20 something dollar lock from Quickset. Now upon hearing that, noobs will cringe. They'll have this, this utter feeling of, whoa, that is, that is so, that is so unlike me. I'm, I'm, have been brainwashed by America to spend more because spending more is better. And the pro says, Right on, Kevin. I'll see you in the courses down below. By the way, quick note, if you want to join the public sections of the Discord group, check the link down below for the Discord section. There are private channels and public channels, and I'm in the public channels often as well. See you there.